Abdus Salam, visionary physicist and advocate for global scientific advancement. Abdus Salam was a groundbreaking theoretical physicist whose contributions to particle physics and dedication to promoting scientific development in the third world have left a lasting legacy. As the first Pakistani and Muslim scientist to receive the Nobel Prize in physics, Salam's work and commitment have inspired countless scientists around the globe. Early Life and Education Abdus Salam was born on January 29, 1926, in Jang, a small town in what is now Pakistan. His father, Chaudhry Muhammad Hussein, was an education officer, and his mother, Hajira Hussein, was a homemaker. From an early age, Salam showed exceptional academic talent, particularly in mathematics. This remarkable ability earned him a scholarship to Government College University in Lahore, where he excelled in his studies, earning double first-class honors degrees in mathematics and physics. His academic achievements led him to the University of Cambridge in England for further studies. At Cambridge, Salam completed a BA in mathematics and then continued at St. John's College, where he earned a PhD in theoretical physics in 1951. His doctoral thesis on quantum electrodynamics laid the groundwork for his future research and discoveries. Early Career and Research After earning his PhD, Salam returned to Pakistan to join the faculty at Government College University. However, he soon realized that the lack of resources for advanced research in Pakistan would limit his scientific progress. In 1954, he accepted a position at the University of Cambridge, where he could engage with a vibrant scientific community. During this period, Salam made significant contributions to quantum field theory and particle physics. One of his early notable works was on renormalization theory, which addressed the infinities arising in quantum electrodynamics calculations. His insights and rigorous approach earned him recognition in the scientific community. Unification of Electromagnetic and Weak Forces The pinnacle of Salam's scientific career came with his work on the electroweak unification theory. Together with Sheldon Glashow and Steven Weinberg, Salam developed a theory unifying the electromagnetic force and the weak nuclear force two of the four fundamental forces of nature. This groundbreaking work showed that these forces, which seem distinct at low energies, could be described by a single theoretical framework at higher energies. Their electroweak unification theory predicted the existence of W and Z bosons, particles mediating the weak force. This prediction was experimentally confirmed in 1983 with the discovery of these particles at CERN. The monumental achievement of this theory earned Salam, Glashow, and Weinberg the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1979. In his Nobel lecture, Salam emphasized the unity of natural laws and the underlying symmetries governing them. Advocating for Science in the Developing World Beyond his scientific contributions, Abdus Salam was deeply committed to promoting science and education in developing countries. He believed that scientific and technological advancement was essential for economic and social development. To this end, he established several initiatives to support scientists from the Third World. In 1964, Salam founded the International Center for Theoretical Physics, ICTP, in Trieste, Italy. The ICTP aimed to provide scientists from developing countries with opportunities to engage in high-level research and collaborate with leading scientists globally. The center has since become a hub for scientific exchange, fostering the growth of countless scientists from diverse backgrounds. Salam also played a pivotal role in creating the Third World Academy of Sciences, TWS, in 1983. TBWS, now known as the World Academy of Sciences, promotes scientific excellence and capacity building in the developing world. It provides research grants, fellowships, and awards to support scientists and researchers in their work, personal life, and legacy. Abdus Salam was known for his humility, generosity, and profound dedication to his work. Despite his international acclaim, he remained deeply connected to his roots and committed to improving the lives of people in developing countries. His personal journey was marked by a balance between his scientific pursuits and his faith, and he often spoke about the harmony between science and religion. 
Salam faced significant challenges and discrimination due to his Ahmadiyya Muslim faith, both in Pakistan and internationally. Despite these obstacles, he continued to advocate for science and education, underscoring the importance of intellectual freedom and inclusivity. Salam passed away on November 21, 1996, in Oxford, England. His contributions to theoretical physics and his efforts to promote science in the developing world have left an indelible mark. Institutions such as ICTP and TWAS continue to advance his vision, supporting scientists and fostering international collaboration. Honors and recognition, Abdus Salam received numerous awards and honors throughout his career reflecting his profound impact on science. In addition to the Nobel Prize, he was awarded the Hopkins Prize, the Adams Prize, the Maxwell Medal, and the Hughes Medal, among others. He was also elected a Fellow of the Royal Society and received honorary degrees from universities worldwide. Salam's legacy extends beyond his scientific achievements. His commitment to uplifting scientists in the developing world and his advocacy for integrating science and society remain influential. He demonstrated that scientific excellence and social responsibility could go hand in hand, inspiring future generations to pursue knowledge and use it for the betterment of humanity. Conclusion Abdus Salam's life and work embody the transformative power of science and the importance of fostering global scientific collaboration. His pioneering contributions to theoretical physics, particularly the electroweak unification theory, have significantly advanced our understanding of the universe. Moreover, his dedication to promoting science and education in developing countries has created lasting opportunities for countless scientists. Salam's legacy continues to inspire and guide the scientific community, reminding us of the profound impact of curiosity, perseverance, and a commitment to the greater good.